Hello everyone, welcome back in my studio. Today I'm here with a new video and this is not going to be about a photo shoot but about a lot of beauty products. I will be diving in a lot of complexion products from uh, foundation, uh, concealer to powders to a lot of different uh, things. So um, if you want to see what the makeup artists use the most, keep on watching. I have been getting a lot of messages from a lot of people about what makeup to use for photo shoots. Uh, as you all know, I'm a photographer based in Rotterdam and I do a lot of uh, makeup myself for the photo shoots that I do. Um, I don't consider, consider myself as a makeup artist because I don't really get booked uh, to do makeup for other photographers that much or uh, to go on location and do makeup so I only know what uh, what to what to do and how to use the makeup for my type of uh, photography uh, but I have seen that a lot of makeup artists use kind of similar products as what I do uh, actually I've learned them from makeup artists uh, myself so uh, I'm gonna be showing you a lot of products that are actually the makeup makeup artist favorites, so the products that I see that makeup artists use the most. So the first thing we're going to discuss is uh, moisturizer and primer. Uh, for a lot of photo shoots it's really important that your uh, skin is well hydrated, so a moisturizer is very important. However, primer are, are, primers are not really used for uh, photo shoots, at least for my type of photo shoots, because a lot of primers are tend to, you know, people use the, the primers to make sure that the, the makeup stays for a really long day, and that is not really important for a photo shoot. Uh, but some primers can help with like blurring the skin, and that is really good. But there is one um, product, and that is this one. It's called Embryolisa. And it's the cream is actually uh, in a really big bottle. It's not so expensive and it has um, a lot of moisturizing benefits but also priming benefits. So it's, it's really good for the skin. It doesn't make it too oily. Um, so this is actually good for the normal to combination skin, I would say. If you have very dry skin, there are also other alternatives from the same brand. But this I see that, that the makeup artists use the most and even though uh, also, there is one thing uh, that is being said a lot, uh, that if your foundation might be a little bit too, uh, too much of a coverage, then you can mix it in with your moisturizer. I don't really do that because with a lot of photo shoots I see that your skin can be a little bit greasy but with this one you can actually do that. So uh, the Ambriolis uh, cream is a really good uh, one to use. Okay, so next to the previous one, we all know the MAC Fix Plus. That's, this is a spray that can be used actually after makeup or before makeup. It's a very hydrating spray, but it's not so thick as a cream is. So sometimes uh, makeup artists use these one uh, to actually uh, plump the skin a bit. Okay, so the last product in this category is one of my favorite, favorite products ever. This is called the Elizabeth Arden. 8 hour cream and it's a very versatile product. This is a very thick cream. It's almost like Vaseline but then more liquidy and it's uh, very uh, versatile. You can use it on your skin as a moisturizer if you have very dry skin. You can use this as a lip balm which I use on almost every model because I see that with a lot of uh, models especially when they have been dieting their lips get a little bit dry so I always apply this uh, at first before doing the makeup so it helps to like uh, get rid of dry uh, lips before you apply um, lipstick and uh, this is also uh, you can use this as a, a lip uh, gloss or as a highlighter you can use it uh, on like as an eye gloss you can use it as everything it's a very versatile product and you only need like a little bit of this for your skin so uh, this whole packaging will last me as a, when I'm doing makeup, like on the, on the models, like for almost a year. Then on to foundation. And this is actually a question that I get the most from makeup artists that have been starting out uh, with doing makeup or even uh, like 
models or everyone who wants to be on the photo what is the best foundation to use for a photo shoot um, actually there are so many foundations out there and for high-end beauty shots it's actually no foundation at all um, a lot of foundations will cake up really uh, easily and uh, you really need to find a way to work with that and to um, that you know that you have the, le the least texture in your skin and that you have actually without any makeup at all but there are a few foundations that do really well uh, and one of it is the MAC Studio uh, face and body foundation I have it in a lot of colors right here uh, they're very versatile you can use it without a pump you can just take it on your hand you can mix it in with a lot of other foundations as well which is really good and the finish of this one is a very good one uh, because it's very skin like it doesn't leave like a, a film after it doesn't leave like a heavy caking or everything or something like that um, it's really a good foundation to use on a lot of different skin types um, I would say uh, it gives a kind of luminous finish, finish as well. So if you have very, very oily skin, uh, I would suggest you to powder it as well. But it's, it's very uh, versatile and also it comes in a really big shade range. Uh, actually, MAC just um, came out with a new one. It looks kind of similar. Um, let me just show you here. Uh, actually, the C one I wrote myself, uh, so I can know which one is what. But this is called this is called the Max Studio Radiance Face and Body Foundation, and it's actually a kind of the similar. Uh, formula it has the same tube and everything but this one tends to be a little bit more shiny than the the original face and body but once again the MAC face and body foundation is actually a really really good foundation to use for a lot of photo shoots another favorite of a lot of makeup artists is actually this one and that is called the Giorgio Armani luminous silk foundation it's a very famous uh, foundation and it has been there for a lot of years already uh, it is a medium coverage foundation but I uh, like the foundation the best when it's uh, really spread out and as a sheer used as a sheer foundation um, it comes in a lot of shades uh, I do also have a lot of shades uh, here and I label them like right here so I just know which one to pick um, it's a very very good foundation it has a like this very silky um, not not really shiny but like a radiant uh, finish and it looks very skin like as well I do find that it's a little bit difficult as a, as a consumer to find your uh, shade because they have a lot of different numbers and it's quite confusing like uh, you have number four for example I have number four which is obviously lighter than number six but they have other um, undertones and then for example there is number seven which I have which is a little bit darker than the six but it has like this one has a, a neutral undertone like a, a sorry a olive undertone and the other one has a neutral undertone so it's really it takes some time to find your right shade and also for makeup artists it can be a little bit confusing uh, because you really have to know oh what undertone was what and what do I mix with what to get the right shade for your client but overall it's a really good foundation and I really love it as, as, uh, as well as a lot of makeup artists All right, then on to the next category and that is concealer. Uh, a lot of concealers are out there on the market and um, I see that a lot of makeup artists use different uh, textures and different finishes of concealer. Um, but however, there is one palette that I see the most with a lot of um, makeup artists and that is this Bobbi Brown uh, concealer palette. Uh, this is really popular on a lot of sets and especially like during Fashion week a lot of uh, um, makeup artists will use this one because it has so many shades on one side and that is this side you have all the like foundation slash concealer shades oh, one is missing I'm sorry it fell out um, but this is really handy to mix in and it has a lot of different undertones it has like a lot of colors also for deep and complexion it has uh, more options and uh, this is used so much I see a lot of makeup artists use these uh, but also on the other side there are a lot of corrector shades which is very important actually more more important than uh, than using a lot of different concealers on one day so 
this is really a palette that if you have it as a makeup artist this is gonna last a really long time also and this is gonna help you with like almost every skin tone and undertone a little bit similar to the previous palette you also have this palette by dermacolor it's from a brand called Creolon and this is actually not available in a lot of countries but in Holland we do have it um, this concealer palette is actually the mini version of it and it also has a small uh, part of like a lot of corrector colors and concealer colors but there is a bigger pan uh, which is actually like 10 times the size of this and they have a lot of uh, foundation shades and concealers, concealer shades um, out there which you can use on a lot of skin tones also these are very very pigmented so you only need a tiny bit and you can spread them out um, to use it as a concealer or even as a foundation and the last one in this category is the very very famous NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. Um, if you are into makeup you already know this one. This is a high end concealer. I have it in a lot of different shades. I label them at the side so I just know which one is what. And uh, these are really 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 good uh, for a lot of skin uh, types. Actually uh, I actually use these ones if I travel also I use these ones as a foundation as well because you can use it as a really like full glam uh, look but you can also share it out to make it like a no makeup look actually this is really popular and you can find it in a lot of shades uh, NARS really killed it with the with the undertones and even uh, also for like uh, deeper complexion uh, they have a lot of priority so I don't know anyone who cannot find their shade in in this formula this is really really good and I, that's therefore I see this with a lot of uh, makeup artists on set but I also know that a lot of makeup artists like bridal makeup artists uh, use these as well so once again the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer Okay, so the last concealer palette that I found is actually a palette that a lot of makeup artists use and they are very, very uh, versatile as well. You can mix this in with um, a lot of uh, other products. And this is from MAC and it's called the Studio Conceal and Correct Palette. You have this in a lot of different shades. So obviously this is one for uh, deeper complexion, but you have them in different categories. And these are very versatile to use as corrector shades, but also as concealers or or even as foundation but you have to be very light-handed with this one because uh, this goes a long way you, you just only need like a tiny tiny bit of the product and you can spread it out this is actually not so good to use under the eyes because you can it can be very cakey in a quick way uh, but on the rest of the skin to uh, cover some imperfections or to like uh, even like use as like a highlight and contour uh, or bronzer you can use these palettes as well in a very subtle way um, but under the eyes it can be like uh, a little bit too much because it's a more of a drier texture but once again these MAC palettes are great All right, so in the new category of powders, we are going to discuss three and that is uh, the first one is actually a very, very famous uh, powder and it became very popular when the trend of baking was um, coming. And that is, of course, the Laura Mercier. Oh, let me just start it right. The Laura Mercier loose, uh, like this, so I can't even pronounce it. The Laura Mercier translucent loose setting powder. And this is a very, very good uh, powder, uh, which is very mattifying as well. So if you have done a lot of uh, glowy base, but you want to mattify it and make it like really stay there for a long day, this is a really, really good powder. Uh, a lot of makeup artists use these for a very, very good reason. But uh, for the last years, I have been seeing a lot of makeup artists uh, who love the Fenty Beauty um, Pro Filter setting powder uh, <laughs> instant retouch setting powder I must say and this is very good because they had a really good shade range in this one uh, with the um, uh, Laura Mercier one it has been there for a while that uh, for the medium uh, skin tones there was no really like yellow yellowish uh, powder but 
the, Laura, the, the Fenty one had it. So this is also a really good one to use as a face powder. It's very blurring as well and it looks very complimentary and not really like you're wearing a lot of makeup. So this is, has become a very popular uh, setting powder uh, for makeup artists as well. And the last powder that I'm going to show you is a very, very good one. I have been loving this since the beginning. This is called the Charlotte Tilbury Air Blush Flawless Finish uh, Powder. And it's a really, really good powder. It's really finely milled. It is a fixed powder, so not a loose uh, setting powder. And it comes in three shades. This is the light version. Oh, let me just show you. This is the light version. It doesn't really have a lot of color, but I also have the medium and dark here, uh, which I, you can use uh, on a lot of uh, foundations to mattify it, also to set it a little bit. And this will never get cakey you can use this on a day uh, to touch up as well it's really good uh, touch up powder uh, and I see a lot of makeup artists who works with brides and uh, they always recommend this this one because brides also can touch up the makeup during the day and I've seen that in real life it's like if, when your skin becomes a little bit more like alive and like the the oils come through and you want to blur it a little bit or mattify it at the end of the day this is really a good one also to use not in a kit but like in your purse or something to uh, mattify um, so once again the charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless finish powder All right, so in the new category, and that is brows, there are so many brow products out there, but um, I haven't been using a lot of brow products myself. And also for photo shoots, I see that with the more beauty shoots and the, the model test shoots that I do, I don't really use a lot of brow products. So one, they take a lot of time, and two, they can get like very um, fake in a way on photos because eventually to draw all the hairs is something different than filling in with like uh, brow powder or pencils or whatever and it's actually a thing that can be retouched in a quick way uh, so therefore a lot of makeup artists on set don't really use a lot of brow products to fill the brows as, unless like the brows are very very sparse and they need to be filled a lot but another thing that is really important for a lot of beauty shoots is to make sure that the brows are nice and up so uh, therefore there has been a trend in the last year of using this product and this is called Soap Brows and it's from a brand called West Barn & Co. Um, this is actually soap for your brows and you can use this with a spoolie and put it in your uh, eyebrows. You wet it with like a Fix Plus spray or the sprays that this brand also have. I run out of it so I use the Fix Plus spray uh, to make it a little bit more wet and you can comb it up, you can comb your brows and it will stay for the whole day. Uh, and it's really easy if you want to take this for on the go because a lot of brow products can be like quite big or like palettes or whatever can be quite big. Um, and then also you can use a clear brow gel. Uh, there, there, there are so many clear brow gels from a lot of brands. Uh, but um, what, has, what is really important for a photo shoot is that it will also stay really well uh, when the models are changing. So you really need one that gets really, really uh, hard. So. Uh, um, this one is actually called the 24 hour brow setter it's from a brand called benefit and this is very very good it's a clear uh, brow gel but this one will get more hard and it will stay there for the whole day so even when you're doing a lot of outfits and you're changing you don't have to worry about your brush go your your um, brows getting down again and then you need to brush them up you just do it once and it's there for the whole day so this is the um, 24 hour brow setter by benefit then the next category is eyes and there are so many products out there from liquid to uh, powder to everything in between uh, there are so many products that makeup artists use for really really nice eye looks um, but it's always good to have a very neutral um, eye palette uh, so for instance this one is from I don't want to drop it uh, this one it goes okay this one is from Viseart and it has a lot of different shades that you can combine it goes from almost white 
to uh, black and you can make a lot of different eye looks with this uh, these ones blend really really well and you can use it for like a sheer wash of color but you can also intensify it a lot with uh, just a little bit more powder uh, you can make a lot of different looks with this so this is the reason why a lot of makeup artists use these uh, like an all matte palette it's always good to have as a makeup artist I don't really use this one myself uh, because sometimes in a rush I'm, I'm not not so good at, at combining a lot of colors uh, if I'm in a rush so therefore if I want to do like a warm um, warm toned eye I have this palette and this is this is actually something that I see a lot of makeup artists use these days as well. This is the Orgy palette from Jeffree Star Cosmetics and this has a lot more shades which is not really uh, mandatory but um, it's easier for me as a non-professional makeup artist to use um, on clients because I can easily find out which shades are more peachy which are more orange which are more yellow and darker and lighter so it's it's really easier for me but the downside of this one is a little bit that if you're traveling with this the palette is really big and uh, it's a good thing because you have a lot of variety but to travel with it doesn't fit in a tiny case uh, so I always have to bring this um, separately then for shimmers because all these products are quite shimmery I do like the mini orgy palette from Jeffree Star Com Cosmetics and these have more like liquid like uh, metallic uh, shades so you can always use this on top this is actually more travel friendly than the other one so you can combine it with like fizzy art palette or whatever uh, but there are so many uh, palettes that are kind of similar but the best one is actually for me the fizzy art palette okay so the last category is for lips and this is a very very personal one that's why i kind of kept it for the last uh, part um there are so many lipsticks and like liquid lipsticks but also the stick versions and everything in between like lip balms that you can use for photo shoots uh, it really doesn't matter what kind of formula you use because everything will look like lipstick uh there are some shades that you can really blend out and it will look like a tint which is very nice as well for uh, makeup artists, makeup artists really uh, look at okay, what is uh, the kind of texture that I want? Do I want like a shiny lip? Do I want like a matte lip? Uh, do I want like a use? Uh, do I want to use like a liquid lip? What kind of finish does it give? Uh, also with metallics, it gives another um, uh, finish uh, than than a, like a matte liquid lip. So um, it's very very personal, and there are so many different shades out there that are so popular. But I see that every makeup artist has their own favorite favorites um, so um, but there is a thing that I do see with makeup artists that I bring a lot of shades uh, and it's also a lot of difficult to look for the right shades I see more, uh, some makeup artists look in their uh, in their bag and like for the right shades, you know and sometimes it can take a lot of time so therefore I have this uh, lip this custom made lip palette and let me just open it up you can buy these uh, things just for a few uh, euros or dollars um, on eBay or Amazon or AliExpress and they're very easy to make your own custom palette. So this is my custom made palette for more neutral and nude and pinkish uh, tones. I also have a lot of other uh, palettes with reds, oranges and whatever so you can categorize it. I've put on stickers so I can just see which one is in there so just to be sure when I uh, refill them. Uh, but in this way it's also very easy and also hygienic to uh, scrape the lipstick out and uh, apply them and to mix them and to use it in a lot of different ways. Uh, also if I want to use the lipstick as uh, a blush or whatever it's really easy to pick them out because you can compare other shades next to it uh, so I recommend all makeup artists to do this with liquid lipsticks this is a little bit more uh, difficult but um, on set uh, a lot of liquid lipsticks are there to stay for a whole day and that is not really necessary for a photo shoot because you can uh, reapply them or you can uh, change them or like uh, correct them during a photo shoot. In the lip category there is one product that is very very popular and actually it's this one it's called the lip gloss by uh, MAC Cosmetics as well. Um, this is actually 
a, just a clear lip gloss it's not more than that it's but it's really good to use on any shade that you want you can make your custom shade with the palette you can mix shades or whatever you want and then make it a glossy lip with just this one uh, this uh, lip uh, gloss doesn't have any glitter so it works really well for um, for photo shoots as well and especially for flash photography and um, this won't um, you don't have to compromise on your lip shade because a lot of them are tinted but with this one you can just make your even a matte lipstick like high shine also this lip gloss can can be used as an eye gloss which is very very popular i use this a lot on a lot of models where i do uh, the eyeshadow and then i pop this on and you have suddenly you have a, an eye gloss and like a glossy lid so uh, this is very uh, friendly for that it doesn't make your eyes um, go dry or whatever and it stays really well so a vers very versatile product so that was it for the makeup artist favorites of today but we have a surprise um, there are so many products loved by makeup artists that i see but there was one product that i have found um, which i use on every model that i shoot on every person that do that i do a shoot with and uh which is my favorite which i which i would like to share with you and i would like to advise all the uh makeup artists who don't know this product yet go and get this um this is called the charlotte tilbury flawless filter and this is such an amazing product this is actually a kind of hybrid between a foundation and a highlighter it's it's called uh, like a complexion booster and and it's really really nice uh, it comes in this uh, tube which will last you for a really really long time you can use this under uh, foundation you can use it over foundation you can use it over a powdered face you can use it over everything like you can use it on your eyes as a highlighter uh, um, I, you can use it on your lips for a highlighter it's such an amazing product and for the past year or for the past two years this has been the product that i use on every single person that sits in a makeup chair in my studio um so as a bonus i'm gonna show you this and how it works i'm i have a lot of different shades uh, i have four shades now and recently charlotte tilbury has extended their shade range uh in this so there are even more um uh, shades and undertones available now uh, it's not really a covering product so i tend to use it more as a, like a lid from within glow or as a, as a highlighter if you use it over a powdered face uh, it will really look as a really good uh, highlight uh, so this is the tube that it comes with i'll just apply it on my hands a little bit and you can already tell it's really really glow like when the light hits it it's really nice and it doesn't contain any glitter so that's why i also use it on a lot of male models so it won't look like you're wearing a highlighter um, so i'm gonna apply this uh, actually now and i have my mirror uh, i use this brush by the way this brush is the best brush to use it with with this is the my kitco 1.15 uh, brush this is called the my soft highlighter and it's a really soft brush also to diffuse your highlighter with so it won't be like that that very harsh uh, line on your face I'm just gonna apply a little bit of that and I'm gonna put it right on the high point of my cheek I actually took a lot of the product you only need like a tiny bit so I'm gonna taking a little bit off I'm gonna apply this on the high point of my face here and I don't know if you can already see it but it's right here and it's diffused and my face is already powdered now uh, but I'm applying this here and I think like right here you can see the glow itself that it gives it's very very intense I'm just doing my other cheek now and I'm using it a little in a C uh, shape and I'm just using a tiny bit of product, but you can already see, already see this is very, very nice as a highlight. And it doesn't really look like a, like with a lot of um, pressed powder highlights, it will look very like glitter or like there's a lot of product on it. This one is so good to use on everyone. So if you see a shiny makeup look on my, uh, on my Instagram, for example, I have used this. 
uh, I you can use whatever I'm just gonna do it a little bit with here you can already tell that it will look very nice and you can use it on a top lip there's actually I cheated a little bit it's already there uh, I love this product and I love uh, the versatility of it you can use it on every uh, skin type as well uh, you can use it on mature skin it's very very great so once again the Hollywood flawless filter by Charlotte Tilbury okay so this is really the end of the video thank you all for watching i hope you like the video and if you have some other uh, products that you really like and you think that a makeup artist cannot live without these products please share it in the comments also if you did like this video uh, like the video it would really help me and um, also subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos in the future um, i want to thank you all once again for watching and i hope to see you on the next video bye